Hi everyone, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to another Tuesday educational video. In today's video, I will be reviewing the three P's of diabetes. Kind of rhymes, the three P's of diabetes. Anyways, let's get started. Because I have off this week and probably next week, I am going to be doing videos practically every single day. So today is video one of this series and this is the three P's of diabetes. Tomorrow I will be talking about type one diabetes, the following day type two diabetes. I might even go venture out and buy a blood sugar machine so I can start checking my blood sugar and do that and show you guys how to do that as well and the correct way to do that because that is done incorrectly in so many places and my husband who's an EMT, he's never even worked as an EMT but he has an EMT license. So he's an EMT and he actually learned the wrong way how to check a blood sugar in EMT school. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. But let's get into the content of today's video and this is super important information to know because when you have a patient, let's say you're an ER nurse coming into the ER or even a bedside nurse and this patient is really showing these signs of the three P's, you're like, hmm, where do I know this from? Or wow, those symptoms really resemble diabetes and you can even help to diagnose a patient with newly onset diabetes. The first P we are going to talk about is polydipsia, which means extreme thirst. These patients will be constantly asking for water, asking for something else, and just ice chips, anything, because their mouth is so dry. And I've had a couple patients with new onset diabetes in the ER, and their sugars are like, over 1,000, it was crazy, but they just kept drinking so much water and we actually had to stop it and we could not give them any more water because it was just feeding into it. We needed to treat the problem and not just keep giving this all this water to them because that leads into our next P and that's polyuria. Polyuria is an excessive amount of urinating. So the normal range for urine output a day is anywhere from 800 to 2000 milliliters per day. That's an average healthy individual. But these patients are exceeding that. Think about it. They're drinking so much fluid. The normal fluid intake for an average healthy adult is 2000 milliliters. They are overdoing that and they are excreting a lot out. And the last P we are going to talk about is polyphagia. So think about, and lastly, our last P is polyphagia, or some people I think have, I have heard, I don't say it like this is polyphagia because like me, I say dysphagia and it's the same ending. It's that same suffix word. So I say polyphagia, or you might hear it differently, but that is excessive eating. An easy way to remember that word and not getting it mixed up with the other P's is that dysphagia or dysphagia, however you want to say it, or polyphagia. You have those suffixes and that is something to do with the mouth and eating. That's what that suffix is. The definition is actually below. But that's an easy way to coordinate the two so you can remember it a little bit easier. But Dysphagia is not part of this at all. That's just an easy way to remember what polyphagia is. If you haven't seen the relationship between all of these, the poly is an excessive amount. The polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia, that's the increased amount. Polydipsia, the dipsia stands for thirst or drinking. And the polyuria, that one's just easier to remember because urea and urine go together. So you have polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. Those are your three big factors when you have a newly onset diabetic or your big key side effects of new onset diabetic patients. So you can save a life if you remember those three Ps because I 
helped to diagnose a new diabetic patient with those three Ps. All right, but that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video all about diabetes type one and then NCLEX videos coming up as well and always Saturday vlog videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching.